Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Not A Reaction. This is a Q&A. Um, it's mainly a Doctor Who Q&A. There is one question that isn't Doctor Who related. I asked you a couple of weeks ago for some questions and here I am answering them. Um, uh, this is probably coming out on the Monday, I would suspect, because BBC are still blocking my videos and I'm appealing them. So I've just got to wait for the appeal to go through and it will go in my favour. Um, and once that happens, then you can have the continuation of my reactions. But for now, this is what you're getting. So I've got a few questions to answer. Grab a cup of tea, grab a biscuit, sit down. That was like really demanding. Sit down and listen. Um, and let's answer some questions. So, numero uno. Out of all of the companions you have seen so far, whose costumes slash dress sense do you prefer? I would have... Okay. I love Victoria's 60s vibe. Jo has some great outfits that I would love to replicate one day. Or try and replicate. But Sarah Jane is really coming up there with the... Um, with the goods so yeah it's between those three for me do you think jamie's relationship with victoria was purely platonic my friends think that they were going at it like rabbits and that's the reason victoria had to leave the tardis poor girl was exhausted <laughs> um i think jamie had feelings for victoria and I think maybe Victoria could have felt a little something for him. But I feel like if she really did, she would have stayed. So I think if she had a stayed, something would have happened with her, with him and Victoria. For sure. Not that I like to think of Jamie, you know, doing that stuff. Out of all of the classic stories... I have seen so far is there one story you would like to watch again more than others i will watch all of them again once i'm once i've done classic who i will probably go back and do it again i'm not saying i would film it because um i think you guys would find that really boring me going back again um but i do you know, when you've only seen an episode once, it's so easy to forget things. Like, you, sometimes you guys ask me questions about certain episodes and I'm like, I can't even remember because it's that long ago. Um, I, 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 am, I, would, I, I look forward to watching all of the eras again. And actually, I think that just comes from a nostalgia point of view as well. The first, second and third Doctor to me now are feel a bit nostalgic especially the first i think because it feels that long ago so i can't wait to watch them again even the web planet even the dodgy ones just because it will be interesting to see if my feelings towards those stories you know change which doctor would i most like to travel with two three four and 10. If I had to absolutely choose, I think I'd want to go with the third because I think he would look after me like a daughter. And I'd also want to go with the 10th, but I would definitely end up falling in love with the 10th Doctor the same way Martha did, for sure. Can't blame her. Which adventure would I most like to have starred in? Um, that is tricky. If, like, I mean, I would love to have been in Stolen Earth and Journey's End just for the pure fact that you've got every, like, you've got so many legends there. Um, from Classic Who, ooh, that is tricky. Anything with Jamie and any story with Benton. Death to the Daleks actually would have been a cool one. That would have been a good one. Um, God, 
oh gee, I, I, to be honest, I'd, any of them, any of them I'd be down for. What has been my favourite cliffhanger so far? That would be um, when Sarah Jane's face fell off. So not that long ago that I watched it, but I remember watching that and thinking, that that that's up there there could be others that i just can't remember but that has definitely stood out to me and the fourth doctor era so far have had some incredible cliffhangers was there a point when you felt a total shift in who or was it just gradual in the minute we started with the third doctor i felt a shift and I think that's why I found it so hard initially because we, I mean, we went into colour and it just felt so different that I definitely struggled. There definitely, I mean, there probably has been a gradual one as well, but jumping straight from the second to the third doctor for me was like jumping off a cliff. It was such a massive leap. Um, how well are the new production team for the fourth Doctor, Robert, um, Philip Hinchcliffe and Robert Holmes doing? I think they're great. Love the whole gothic element, as I've mentioned before. I do think that it needs to be balanced up sometimes with something, which is why I think I'm enjoying Se The Seeds of Doom, because it's earth-based. And although it's still got that gothic element, it's not too much, if that makes sense. They're not, I don't feel like they're overdoing it at the moment, so yeah incredible at the moment um i spoke quite a lot about liz and joe how do i feel about sarah jane i think sarah jane is incredible um i am aware that at some point maybe soonish she will be um departing and i and i when I was watching the second Doctor era, I was always on edge about Jamie going, the second Doctor going. Um, but I just feel like Sarah Jane's been here for so long that she just feels like part of the furniture. So when she goes, it's going to be very strange. And I don't know how I'm going to react. I do know that I will really struggle when a new companion takes over from Sarah Jane. They've got some big, big shoes to fill. Um, and I've always said this, and I and I know that it doesn't really make sense with, with Doctor Who, but I'm not good with change. I don't like the changing companions. I like to be settled with a group and that's it. So I know we had Harry dip in. I mean, Sarah Jane's been here since the Doctor's last season, right? The third Doctor's last season. And that feels like so long ago that I just can't even really comprehend her not being here. That doesn't necessarily mean that I will bawl my eyes out when she goes, depending on how it's done. It just means that I will be, I know I'll be very standoffish when the new companion comes in. Just because I... Also, the fourth Doctor's only had Sarah Jane. So I just couldn't imagine him with, like, another woman or another man. But I would assume it's going to be another female. Yeah, I don't. I've kind of got into the habit of just not really thinking about it, which is maybe not a good idea, but also is maybe a good idea. I'm also doing this whole thing unedited. I'm going to try to anyway. So if it's, like, a bit bitty and there's noises and stuff, I apologise, but, you know all about keeping it real over here we know you are a big fan of the shining and recently read the novel which scene from the book would you choose to add into the film that wasn't already in it um so much stuff i know for obvious reasons they couldn't fit it in um and trying to get some of the scenes to come to life would have been horrifically hard but the scene when um both jack and danny on separate occasions are outside with the animal hedges that for me uh, I would love to have seen come to life I also would have rather I didn't really like the ending of the film um, 
I think it should have gone down in a big bang, bang like it did in the book. And also, um, you know, the end bit when, when we got to see like the aftermath of it in the book, I would have liked to have seen that in the film. So I believe one day a sequel, I, I believe a remake will be done of The Shining one day. I think it's inevitable. And I would be really open to seeing it done. Not that anyone in my eyes can compare to Jack Nicholson, but I, I would be really open to seeing that done. And I, I'm i going to read Doctor Sleep before I watch the film. And I'll give you guys an update. My favourite scene with the fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane. Any scene where they are bouncing off each other and they're giving each other that bit of attitude. Um, It's definitely been in the last couple of stories that that's really come to come to light is that the saying come to light they're just you can tell they're best friends i mean the fourth doctor has just said it in one of the episodes i've watched that sarah james is best friend which is so lovely least favorite story from the fourth doctor so far so i went back and had a look through at the stories because i couldn't remember them all from the top, top of my head I cannot pick one. Like I've rated them all so highly that I don't know. I genuinely can't pick one. So I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I have no answer to that. I apologise. Hmm. Kiss, marry, kill. Tenant, Hines, Levine. Okay, so let's just put them into Doctor Who terms. So the tenth, Jamie and Benton. Kiss, marry kill oh my god this is savage and i know who asked me this josh i mean i'd have to kill tenant i mean the 10th because i would want to snog jamie so that i could marry benton that's what i'd have to do but that's horrific right what would you do Um, have I started to read Scratch Man yet? I haven't. Um, I will probably do a, a review on here just talking about it. Um, I'm a massive, massive reader and I would love to incorporate, oh, there's a fly, um, book reviews or something into this channel somehow. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But no, I'm very excited to start it. Um, which doctor would you like to see in another doctor's story? I really would love to see some of the third and fourth Doctors cross over. Um, there have been many, many situations in the fourth Doctor era so far that I have thought, oh, the third Doctor would be great, or what would the third Doctor have done? But there's also a lot of stories as well, as well where the second Doctor just wouldn't make sense doing it, and the first Doctor wouldn't either. You know, some of these more active roles, I just couldn't imagine the first and sec second Doctor doing. So um, yeah, i definitely like to see the third and fourth crossover for sure. Because I, I do think they have some similarities. Who would you have loved to be the next Doctor? And this person did put a few names down. Um, the list I wrote was Mark Warren, Rupert Grint, Chris Humphreys and Ralph Little. I want the doctor go to go back to being male the next time um whichever way they choose to go there's going to be a backlash if they choose to keep the doctor as female people are going to have an uproar if they choose to change it back to male people are going to say that they're sexist um i think it's been great exploring the doctor as a female i i just think there's another i just think there's more male actors that I think would be better in the role than female actors, if that makes sense. Um, but as long as they cast the Doctor right, I don't really care. Um, Mark Warren, I think, is so good. Um, but Rupert Grint, Chris Humphreys and Ralph Little all have this little bit of Matt Smith vibe for me. You know, a little bit of flappiness to them. Um yeah do you know what's so cool though when they do 
eventually recast the Doctor, I'll actually be able to do a live reaction, which is crazy. Sontarans or Davros? Now, it depends what I'm doing with them. If we're talking about, like, making babies, then neither. Uh, who would I want to be stuck in a lift with? A son. But again, a Sontaran in New Who is very different to a Sontaran in Classic Who. I mean, probably Davros, because I could... I could just press his button and be like, see ya. But as in, who do I prefer? Probably, da probably Davros in Classic Who. Um, and this is the last... Oh, it's only been 15 minutes. This is the last Questione. If you had to choose one classic story to be adapted into a new Who story, which would I pick and why? Now, I would say I'd like to see the Weber Planet because I would like to see how they did it. You know, I want to see a challenge. I would just love to see how they interpreted it. So I'd go the Web Planet and I would probably pick some of the my least favourite episodes. So... Um, like the Space Pirates or the Dominators, um, because I would like to see how they did it and if it would, if by it coming into New Who, it maybe then became a story that we liked or if it just remained a story that wasn't as popular. So that's probably what what I would want to see doing. I, I don't really, I wouldn't want them to adapt any of them because the great thing about Classic Who is that it's just raw and and real and limited budgets and that's what I, that's what i find really enticing about classic who so but yeah if i had to choose in those are the ones that i would choose oh, i smashed it 17 minutes if you're still here congratulations you win a point um wow right smashed it cool thank you so much guys thanks for joining um yeah if i didn't i i know i answered all the questions and i did only put the questions out on twitter and my community tab guys do make sure you check my community tab for any updates because that is where i just drop all the info and if you do want to follow my social medias twitter is mainly for like youtube information and doctor who stuff follow my instagram if you want to just follow my like personal life um and then my patron which i have just rejigged around so thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed and i will be back tomorrow with a reaction see you there